Welcome back, my wasted youth. This is Rev taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition. When last we left our intrepid hero, he had defeated another six trainers in the 16 trainer gauntlet. Leaving only four left, two of them we're going to take out right now. The other two we will get back to, I promise. But that last trainer we took out, we had to pull him away from where he was standing so we could sneak in behind him and grab TM-19, Seismic Toss. A very reliable attack that does a damage equal to the level of the Pokemon using it. I'm not going to use it, but if you want to, by all means, highly recommended. More importantly than any of that, however, Pidgey has evolved to Pidgeotto. So let's take a look at that right now. While the original US translation for Pidgey's name didn't have the Y, but was added last minute to avoid the pronunciation Pidge, there's nothing really all that special about Pidgeotto's name origin. The whole family line is named after Pigeons. Now, Pidgeotto will evolve into Pidgeot at level 36. Now, let's beat up this youngster. Knew he had to fight us, I guess he's been watching all of our battles. Well, this youngster has a level 14 Ekans and a level 14 Sandshrew. So, Ekans comes out, we are going to throw out Charmander. And the very first thing I want to do is switch into Pidgeotto. I would love to know whether or not Pidgeotto's higher levels are going to mean greater damage. That rap is just abusive. Okay. I know I keep saying it, but I still mean it. Eventually, we will get a shot, and when we do, we'll see just how much damage it can do. Oh, that's brilliant. And Rap is going to be there for a little while longer. I'm okay with that. I mean, I'd prefer if it weren't the case, but it is the case. And there we go. No more Ekans. So, out comes Sandshrew, and we are just going to continue gusting with Pidgeotto. I am actually planning on bringing back Charmander. Not for a lot, but a little bit of damage. I would still like uh, Charmander to get some experience for this. So even if he takes a few hits, I'm not that worried about it. So let's see if Ember will work. And it looks like it works wonderfully. So, Charmander gained more experience, as did Pidgeotto. You knew you'd lose too, then why did you stay, man? Hi. Gets confused or falls asleep, switch it? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. And how about you? Your friend has cute Pokemon, you're jealous. Why, are yours ugly? Well, not really. This lass has got three Pokemon. Two level 13 Oddish and one level 13 Pidgey. So, Oddish comes out against our Charmander. Well, Charmander, of course, is going to use Ember. Let's see what happens. Hmm. I think this is a great matchup for Charmander, who looks like it's going to get serious experience points out of this. And Charmander grows to level 16, which is perfect. What do you think? Can you do it again? I don't know. Oh, looks like you possibly can. And Pidgey is burned. That's brilliant. So, a scratch should take out Pidgey. And Charmander gets some more experience. One more Oddish. Back to Ember. And with this, it looks like Oddish is pretty well wiped out. I do not see... <clears throat> excuse me. I don't see how it could withstand too many more hits. And it didn't. Great. So Oddish is all wiped out. Charmander's evolving. Hey, that's perfect. And Charmander evolves into Charmeleon. Hi. You came from Mount Moon. May you have a Clefairy? Do you have anything to trade? No? Okay. Well, I tell you what, since Charmander has just evolved, let's take a look at Charmeleon. Charmeleon is the second evolutionary form of a family named Fire Lizard. 
So while Charmander was named Char, so that's Burn, and Salamander, Charmeleon is named Char and Chameleon, though it doesn't really change color. And it will also evolve into Charizard at level 36. Now, if you're anything like me, you're realizing we are just a few steps away from Pokemon Collector Bill's house. However, I completely missed the opportunity to show you something in the Pokemon Center. So, I am going to take you back to the Pokemon Center and back to Cerulean City, even though it is completely out of the way. Um, this is a good time to do it. While we are there, we are going to stop in at Cerulean Gym and see if we can win, oh, I don't know, maybe a badge with some of the Pokemon we've picked up. But for now, let's go into the Pokemon Center and go over to the PC. Now, we turn on the PC, and as you'll see, it says someone's PC. It says Ash's PC, and it says Professor Oak's PC. Well, eventually, that is going to change, and I'm doing it now because it will actually change pretty quickly. That Bill, he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. Oh, you mean like Team Rocket? Oh, no, wait a minute. Bill's a good guy, isn't he? Oh, okay. Whatever. Heard about Bill? Yeah, I heard he's just like Team Rocket. Oh. Oh, yeah, you mean like Team Rocket? Oh, no, wait a minute. I think I'm giving the wrong impression here. Lots of Pokemon. Collects rare ones. Oh, you mean like Team Rocket? Oh, no, that's not right. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, well, now that everything is taken care of, let's go to Cerulean Gym. I think this is it, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's a mysterious blue aura surrounds it. Okay. Hi, how are you? Yes, I am. It is a tough life. Especially if you're ten. Okay. Yo, champ in the making, here's my advice. The leader, Misty, is a pro who uses water. Hmm. Drain with plant. Zap them with electricity. Hey, we just happen to have both plant and electric. Cerulean City Pokemon Gym. Leader Misty, winning trainers, who's Gary? I guess I'll figure out eventually. Now, this guy has got a brand new Pokemon for us, so let's take a look at it right now. Horsey is a water type that will evolve into Seedra at level 30. At level 1 it learns Bubble and doesn't learn a second attack until level 19, at which point it learns Smokescreen. Now, the name came from Seahorse, of course, but I find it a little bit more interesting that the artwork just looks like the Tatsunoko logo. Shelder is a water-type Pokemon that can evolve into Cloyster with the use of a Water Stone. At level 1, it learns Tackle and Withdraw, and at level 18, it learns Supersonic. Now, by combining the words Shell and Chowder, you get the not-so-flattering name shoulder. Now, normally I would want Bulbasaur in the front of the party, but I still want him as low level as possible. So, I've still got um, Charmeleon in the front of the party. And this guy sends out his horsey, which is fine with me. Charmeleon is not going to do anything. I am just going to switch him out for Pikachu. And Pikachu is just going to sit back and Thundershock. Let's see if it works. Seems to work quite well. And Bubble, yeah, Bubble does some damage. I'm not too worried about it, though. See? Thundershock takes out Horsey. Everything is fine. Shelter. Well, let's see. What if I Thundershock it again? Well, you know, that seems to work. So, Tackle is going to do a little bit of damage, and we are just going to Quick Attack. And there we go, no more Shelter. So, now Pikachu is level 20, which is exactly where I wanted... Oh, he's going to try and learn Slam? Well, of course we're going to get rid of him. Older move. Yes, we are, and we are going to get rid of Double Team, which I haven't touched anyway. And we've learned Slam. See, I had wanted Pikachu at level 20 by getting out of Mount Moon anyway. <clears throat> Ahem. <clears throat> 
Well, I hope she does lose to someone like me. Now, this next trainer has got a few more Pokémon for us, so let's take a look at those. Originally to be called Goldie, Goldeen is a water type that can evolve into Sea King at level 33. At level 1, it learns Peck and Tail Whip, and at level 19, it will learn Supersonic. And of course, it was named, or its name was inspired by Goldfish. Sorry about that, I guess she only had one new Pokémon for us, but let's take it on. No, you're not. Well, yeah, Misty can wait. So, she sends out her Goldeen, level 19. And we send out Charmeleon, who is going to immediately get switched in for Pikachu. And, exactly like the last battle, we are just going to sit back on Thundershock. See what happens. Well, see, that's great. But you know what? All I'm going to do now is just switch right back into Charmeleon. And you'll do a shot of some kind, and I am just going to... Yeah, why not? That's okay. I don't mind that at all. So we're going to switch right back into Pikachu, and Pikachu is going to Thundershock. Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. So... Goldeen goes down. And Charmeleon is now level 17, which is great. Pikachu has gained experience. We've defeated another trainer. Yes, I did overwhelm you. That's what you get. You got cocky and you got beat. Yes, I guess that's true. And now you've faced another trainer and realize you're not that good. Okay. This is Misty. Misty has got a Staryu and a Starmie, a level 18 Staryu and a level 21 Starmie. And here they are. Staryu is a water type that can evolve into Starmie with the use of a water stone. At level 1 it learns Tackle, at level 17 it learns Water Gun, and at 22 it learns Harden. Well, both members of the family look like stars, and this is half of you and me. By using Star U and a Water Stone, you can evolve it into Starmie. Now here's the problem. Starmie cannot learn any attacks, well, on its own. So, what you have when you evolve it is basically what you get. It can, however, learn a whole lot of HMs and TMs, so you can always teach it a few new abilities. Now, like Star U, this family moniker is from Star. And this is the me half of you and me. With that, let's try and grab our second badge. Policy with Pokemon? What's my approach? All out offensive with water type? Well, okay. The world famous beauty. Yeah, I'm ready, honey. Okay. Now, as you'll notice, Misty's sprite looks a lot closer to the anime than it did in Pokemon Red and Blue. Um, she's lost the bikini and gone into the clothes that she had for the animated series, which I think is wonderful. Now, Staryu is going to get hit with Thundershock, and we're going to see what happens. And it looks like it does pretty well. Water Gun is going to hurt, but not half as much as Thundershock. So, Staryu goes down. She is going to send out her level 21 Starmie. Which is tough. I'm actually going to experiment here a little bit by throwing on Thunder Wave right out of the chute and hoping. Now I'm going to rely on Thundershock. This thing can hit hard. So hopefully we can get through without it attacking. Oh boy, okay. Oh no, good. We've got this. We've got this in the bag. And there we go. We could not have gotten any luckier with that. And Pikachu grows to level 21, beating Misty. You can't believe you lost. Okay. And with that battle over, it is time to leave for the episode. This has been Rev walking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition. 
Your required reading and viewing for next time is The Pit and the Pendulum, Edward Scissorhands, and The Thirteen Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. Till next time.